Many people are saying to leaders that the world has changed and we face continuing uncertain times. And most of those leaders are saying, well, tell me something I don't know. Like, how am I to move my business and people forward? Welcome to this BBTV trilogy coming to you from the UK studios of BizVision. I'm your host, Malcolm Gallagher. Now today, in my global search, you to find you the best of solutions to our altered world challenges and taking you to sunny Portugal to meet the world's leading expert on self-leadership and the author of the New Leadership Playbook. Welcome, Andrew Bryant. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Malcolm. Good to see you. Ah, listen, I just love the part of, of Portugal that you live in. Go on, give us a quick, a, a very quick travel log. So, well, I'm British by birth, um, but uh, now living in Portugal, I live in a little place called Magoito. It's a little country town, but it's on the beach, beautiful surf beach, just north of Sintra, where the most beautiful, colourful uh, co palace is, where the royal family used to go for summer, 40 minutes from Lisbon. So um, I've, I've got my little slice of paradise. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I bet you're brilliant at Fardo at the night time. Andrew, I want to really <laughs> maximise the time I have with uh, you, you and your, your expertise. So in episode one, can I ask you to briefly take us through your framework of the new leadership model and what it can do for those who apply it? Fantastic. Well, Let's just take a step back in terms of why we need a leadership framework. So much of leadership uh, advice on social media in books is very prescriptive. Leaders must be like this. Leaders must do this. And in fact, the, the, the list of, of traits that leaders must have is so long, it might as well, in my opinion, include can walk on water. And yes. I think that's a, a little intimidating. So when I wrote this book, and I wrote it specifically for one of my clients, I wanted to create a framework that was an easy diagnostic for leaders to say, if I'm not getting results, what do I need to look at? And mm. that framework is very simple. Expectations times mindset and motivation times right behaviors equals results. So it starts with expectations. If we're not getting results from our people as a leader, the first place to look is in the mirror. Did mm. I set clear expectations? Because it might have been clear in my head what I wanted them to do, how I wanted them to do it, the results I wanted to get. But if I didn't communicate that, and communication needs yeah. a feedback loop, right? I need yeah. to have communicated. I need to check they understood. That's where 90% of the problems happen. You know, look at project management. You know, the, the expectations mm. not set up front, it's going to run over cost and over time. Yeah. The yeah. right... The, so the next multiplier is is um, is is really mindset. Do do people have buy in? You know, have we explained the why this is important? Because if people don't have buy in, they're never going to give it their one hundred percent. And and motivation always is intrinsic. Now I know there are external motivators like pay, etc. But really, human beings have to have a sense of if I put in the effort. Will I increase my performance and will I be rewarded, acknowledged, validated for that? And so mm. as leaders, we need to set up our expectations and make sure we get the buy-in that people say, I can, I can contribute to this. Now, Simon Sinek, of course, got very famous with his start with why. And you could plug that into that section that people need to know why is this important for the company? Why is it important for me? Why is it important for the world? Et cetera, et cetera. And the last just, multiplier. Uh, just want to quickly jump in a second there, Andrew, if you don't mind. Knock yourself um, out. For, for the for the for the for the person to understand the why, though, surely the leader that's conveying that has got to understand the person um, and as to how they will be they'll motivate. Very very important. Thanks for picking up on this. Um, so mindset is understanding that a frame of mind, you know drives and directs our behavior. Mm. So the excellent leader or the effective leader is connecting what's important to the individual to what's important yeah. to the team or the organization or the outcome. Yeah. And so, you know, look, a simple story. You know, I, I had a girlfriend many, 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 many years ago who was an introvert and but worked in a sales office. She was actually the best salesperson. Um, 
But the manager, being an extrovert, had a bell screwed to the wall. Every time you made a sale, you were supposed to go up, ring the bell on the wall. My girlfriend hated ringing that bell. But one day, you know, she'd made some sales. He discovered that she'd made the sales. He physically dragged her to the wall and made her ring the bell. She resigned the next day. So, I mean, this is a great example of not understanding the motivation for your individual. I mean, that's an extreme story. So mindset and motivation is the skill of leaders to understand what's important to their people and connect that to what's important to the organization. Yeah, gotcha. Right. So we're in the leadership model. We've done one. Just take us back through that again. So set expectations. Consider yep. mindset and motivation so that we've we've talked about the buy-in in terms of what's important to individuals so that they have a sense of ownership to that. It's no good yeah. delegating something to somebody if they don't feel a level of ownership and empowerment. And this yep. is key to my previous work. You know, I published in 2012 you know, the, the textbook on self-leadership, and that's all about ownership and responsibility. Yeah. And your opening framing is, you know, the world has changed. And Mm. everybody's had an increased dose of ownership and autonomy and responsibility working from home, having to manage their own time. Yes. And so actually we need to do this even better today because you can't suddenly say, well, come back to the office and I'm going to tell you what to do. After two years of people having to managing themselves, take ownership of their own time, people want much more buy-in now. Am I Am I? Um, barking up the right tree for you there. No, no, I, I'm totally with you because when I, I've done over 700 of these since March 2020, and I first talking to CEOs who wouldn't come on to Zoom without a, a PA on one side and, a, and a, a techie person on the other, and they just could not communicate clearly because they were so used to sending emails, you know, and, and just blurging that out. And so the clarity uh, to people, especially working hybrid, was was poor. Oh, it was shocking. And uh, there's uh, there's one uh, CEO that's mentioned in the book that I was coaching, and right at the beginning of the pandemic, he was figuratively in the fetal position because <laughs> his runway for the year had been blown up and he put all the energy mm. metaphorically getting the plane fueled on the runway ready to take off this was going to be his year this was going to be his breakthrough and his plans were blown up and he was taking it personally and i had to say look you know you're the ceo you're you're coming to us from a beautiful house in in napa valley what about your people if you're struggling what about them and that's it focus Excellent. on your people focus on your people Got it. Thanks, Andrew. Now let's give viewers and listeners details of your URL, your website address, which obviously viewers you can see on the screen behind me. But for listeners, let me spell it out to you. It's all the W's, all the W's dot selfleadership.com. Selfleadership.com. Andrew's book is called The New Leadership Playbook, and it's published by Ocean Reeve Publishing. As you just heard, Andrew's website is selfleadership.com. But what is self-leadership and how will it help in today's challenging leadership roles? So can we tackle that in episode two, please, Andrew? Absolutely. Your wish is my command, Malcolm.